Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Friday friends, it is a Friday so it is way in day. We're gonna talk about my week, set some goals for next week, do my weigh in, did I actually lose weight after maintaining last week and chat about this week's WW Workshop topic. So if you're excited, as always, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I upload five videos a week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. I can't stress how important knowing this information is for weight loss and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things. And lastly, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's jump into my week, some goals, weigh in, and the WW workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an absolutely amazing week. I had a good week. I had a really good week. I had a very busy week per the usual, but I had a really good week. I have been extremely busy with coaching, which makes my heart really happy. That is something I'm very passionate about, and that is helping you guys reach your weight loss goals, sharing all the tips and tricks that I've done to lose over 115 pounds. So it's been really nice to fill my schedule with coaching clients. I've been doing lots and lots of macros and calories, and a lot of you have been posting in my Facebook group, reaching out to me directly, saying that with macros and calories that I did for you, that you are losing more weight than you've ever lost before. You're eating more, you're full, you're satisfied. You guys are killing it. So congratulations to everybody who is doing so amazing with the macros and calories. As always, nutrition coaching is down in the description box if it's something that you're interested in having done for you. I also continued my typical seven days of working out. I did do a little bit of shifting of my strength training. So on Mondays and Fridays, I actually drive to the gym, do the elliptical for 30 minutes, and then do some strength training. On Wednesdays, I walk to the gym, do my strength training, and walk home. Well, I was doing leg day on Wednesday, and by the time I was ready to walk home, my legs felt like jello. So I thought this week, why don't you do leg day on a day that you drive to the gym? So what I did this week is I did leg day on Monday and then I did upper body on Wednesday and I'll do upper body today. And that really has been a big game changer for me because when I walk home on Wednesdays now, I actually can walk really fast and get in my typical movement and heart rate walking rather than having my legs feel like jello. So that was really smart for me just to tweak it a little bit that better fits what I need. I I did really well with my food this week considering that I'm about to start my cycle. I mean any day now, either today, tomorrow, it should be starting and the week leading up to that is when I'm generally the most hungry. Let me know down in the comments, what is, how does that work for you? Once my cycle starts, I'm good. I definitely don't have the cravings and the hunger that I do the week before. So I'm really proud of myself that I actually stuck with my calories, hit my protein goal every day, even though I was extra, extra hungry this last week. I also mentioned to you guys last week that I actually upped my calories and upped my protein. Even though I didn't lose weight last week, I upped everything this week. And that was a really good decision because it definitely helped with the hunger that I had this week. And eating that little bit of protein, I feel like helped my body recover from my workouts a little bit faster, as well as, again, kept me full and satisfied when I had a little bit of extra hunger. When I checked in with my fitness coach last Friday, she didn't change anything for this week. I actually sent my check into her this morning. So we'll see if there'll be any changes for the current week, but I'm just continuing to do my seven days of moving my body, three days of strength training, two days of the elliptical, and then the other five days a week I get to walk outside, which is really truly what I look most forward to and what really makes me excited about getting in my movement every day is to be able to walk outside. It's just is so nice to get the vitamin D, hear the birds chirping, and again, where I live is beautiful, so the walking paths are so good and it makes it so easy to walk. So overall, I feel like my week was a huge success, but before we jump into my weigh-in, did I lose? weight? Did I gain weight? Did I say the same way? Let's talk about this week's WW workshop topic because it's a good one. And that is to how to feel more in control 
even when you're not. Life can go from I totally got this to what the in a matter of minutes. When this happens, we need to reset. We need to correct course before it gets even more out of control. So these tips from WW will help you to maintain control even when everything is out of control. Step number one, when you're feeling out of control, make three separate lists. Number one, what you cannot control or influence. Whether your stress stems from heavy stuff, upsetting world news, or heavy to you stuff like emergency dental work that's messing your, with your routine, these are things that you cannot change and you cannot control. List number two, what can you influence? Zero in on something related you can do, however minor. For example, you can't fix the world's problems, but you can donate to organizations doing good work. Or if you're forced to skip your usual workout class, thanks Chip Tooth, you could still go for a walk. And number three, write down what you can control. Lastly, focus on what you can do or change right now, like limiting social media or your news intake or clearing your work schedule and picking up some soft zero point foods and ice cream for dinner. We have a lot of things in our life that we can't control. There are things that spiral out of control that we really have no control over. But there are a lot of things in our life that we can control. And those are the things that we need to focus on. We need to have an action plan or a game plan to control what we can control when life's out of control. How many times can I say control? Step number two is take a deep breath and then take some action. Direct your focus to the present and then channel your attention and energy only to the things that you have influence or control over. So you can control and you can influence. I can't control or influence. Scratch that out. It doesn't really matter because you have zero control or influence over it. So focus on what you do have influence over. So let's dive a little bit deeper. Who considers themselves a control freak? 100%. The term gets thrown around like we get upset if we can't control things or if things happen that we don't decide on or have control over, but that's not necessarily what a control freak means and being a control freak isn't necessarily a bad thing. Most of us love to feel like we're steering the ship or we have a little bit of internal control over what's going on around us. But as we know, whether you're a control freak or not, there are about a zillion things that can throw you completely off course. You can do nothing about them, so there's zero reason to dwell on them or let them have a negative impact on you because after all, you can't control them. Shifting your focus to the present and what you can influence and control, I promise you is going to be a huge game changer in your weight loss success. It helps us basically adjust our sales and move forward. Maybe we have to chart a completely different course or start a whole new journey in general. If it doesn't work, which is totally normal by the way, this is where you make some changes. Make sure that you're implementing and prioritizing things that are fun to you. Maybe it's taking a yoga class or swimming at your local pool or having a beach day. Make sure that you're implementing those things into your life as well because when life is out of control or feels like everything is a big mess, having something positive that's good for you that you can look forward to can be a huge, huge game changer. So I really like this topic because I know for me, like I said, I am a control freak. I am very type A. I make lists. I like things in their place. I like having a schedule. I mean, we know this. We know that I'm very schedule oriented. And I will find myself getting really frustrated if things don't go my way or if something throws me off kilter. So this topic not only is really good for me, overall, I think it's good for every single one of us. We all have things in our life that happen that throw us out of our routine. And instead of giving in and indulging in those times of chaos, really work with these WW tips to get yourself back on course and stay on course. That's how you're going to reach your goals. So now let's jump in to my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, I was a little extra hungry this week. It's the week before my cycle, but I worked out, I stayed on plan, and I forgot to mention I drank my water every single day, which I'm very, very proud of. I ate my extra calories, I ate my extra protein, and guess what? Eating more to lose weight works. When I stepped on the scale today, I am down not one, but two pounds. After maintaining the, this last week, I dropped two pounds this week. I will go ahead and put my total weight loss here on the screen for you. And as always, I'm inching closer and closer 
to my overall goal. I've actually been getting a lot of questions on whether I'm at my goal weight. No, I am not at my goal weight. Trust me, when I get there, you will know. I've also been asked what my starting weight was, what my current weight is. I've chosen at this time not to share that information. Once I get to goal weight, we'll go over all of my stats and I'll be able to actually share with you all of the numbers. It's pretty personal and honestly, it's not ever something I would ask anybody to share unless they're comfortable. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing all that information with you when the time is right for me. But I'm thrilled, 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 thrilled with two pounds down and inching closer and closer to my overall goal. I do have a number in mind before I go to Hawaii in September, but I also mentioned last week that I'm really not focused on the scale. And my fitness coach also reminded me not to be focused on the scale because with all the strength training and exercise, the scale can really be affected. And I'm really trying to focus more on how my body feels, how my body looks, how I'm fitting into my clothes. But I'm not gonna lie, I have a little goal in mind for my trip to Hawaii in September. So of course I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes as well. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Did you gain? Did you lose? Do you find yourself getting really stressed out when you can't control situations? And of course, let us know if you're a control freak. No shame in that game because I am definitely a control freak. Of course, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a weigh-in or any of the other videos that I upload every single week week. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group, come join us there, are all down in that description box. Happy Friday, friends. Happy beginning of the weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye!